Hi, I'm Stacy Harris. Today, we're gonna to be cooking an Indian-inspired dish called venison samosas. The first thing that you'll wanna do is to turn, preheat your oven to 375 degrees. The second thing is to get your potatoes boiling. I have them cut at about a half inch and a half inch cubes. And so get those boiling. And then the, ne the next thing you'll wanna do is brown your bay leaves along with some mustard seed and some cumin seeds. Okay, and that shouldn't take but a minute. The house is gonna start smelling really Indian in just a few minutes. And a little bit of olive oil. You see them starting to pop. The next now. thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix up my venison and my ground beef. This is about 75% venison and about 25% ground beef. I'm just gonna mix it up. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my pan along with my onions. I'm gonna go ahead and add my salt and pepper. Graylin, do you have the spices ready in there? Yeah. Here it is. Okay, great. Thank you. These Indian spices are absolutely wonderful. Not only do they taste great, smell great, they have a lot of great health benefits. Included in these spices are cumin, coriander, chili powder, cinnamon, cardamom, turmeric, um, as well as garlic and cilantro. Cumin was given as payment in the Bible, so every one of these Indian spices has got some kind of great health benefit. While, this is, um, while these are getting done, I'm gonna take my potatoes and drain them. And when they're good and drained, I'm gonna put them right back in the pot because I'm gonna kind of mash them, mash them up together. Okay, this is gonna kind of hold your samosa together um, as like kind of like a paste on the inside. It's really fantastic. Okay, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and add my garlic now to my meat mixture. And it looks like it's getting pretty done. I'm gonna go ahead and get my crescent rolls out and get them ready to put the mixture on. The, they're crescent rolls right out of a can. You just roll them out and put these edges together, these perforated edges together, and quarter, you know, make it into four. This is one and a half cans right here. Okay, I think that my meat is about done. So I'm gonna add my mashed potatoes to the meat. Okay, and at this point, I'm gonna add my cilantro and peppers, chili peppers. You can add more or less of that as you like. All right, now I'm going to put some of my mixture on one half side of the crescent roll. That's maybe a little bit too much. Okay, bring this over, and then get your fork, and just press the sides to make it together. Make sure that they meet so that the meat does not fall out in the, it's good to have an egg white and just to brush over the sides and the top. I think they're ready. The mosas are finished and we are gonna cut right into one. They smell and look delicious. Let's see. Hmm. Alright. Let's take a look inside. Oh yeah. They look fantastic. Oh good, me too.